Hey little buggers, it's even 7 here bringing another Loot Crate unboxing. This time we got the Loot Crate for March 2017 and it is the Primal theme. And it's got some weight to it actually. Before we even get into it, I've got a note. It's a pretty hefty box and it's also got some serrated action going on in there so it's going to be some extra stuff to go on with the box. So I'm a little excited already, because it's got some good stuff in there, too. It's got some Overwatch, which I'm guessing will be, like, Winston-related, because that's the only primal kind of thing I can think of from Overwatch. But I don't know much about Overwatch. Roadhog is kind of primal-ish, too, I guess. He's a boar pig thing. Whatever. Predator. That's primal. That's in the jungle. That's hunting. That's whatever. X-Men, I'm guessing, is Wolverine because of all the Logan bullshit that's been going on. I've heard good things about Logan. Have not seen it, though. And then the fourth thing is Jurassic something. Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Jurassic... Lego Jurassic? I don't fucking know. But it's something Jurassic. So let's get into this crate and see what the fuck we got. Oh, wow. Right off the bat, the artwork... We got like a dinosaur thing, so we're going to be able to make some sort of dinosaur cutout, I'm guessing. I don't know what the fuck that's going to be all about. What can you cut out? It's going to be some sort of dinosaur, obviously, though. So every month, every month, every crate, there is a shirt. And it is actually the Overwatch shirt. Bam! And I was right, it is a Winston-related. We got a big ol' Primal Rage. With a big old Winston head. Nothing on the back. It's just a nice, plain, gray Winston face. Not too exciting, but pretty decent. I got a nice little Overwatch shirt to the collection. I forgot to mention last month's shirt. The Power Rangers shirt from... I don't remember what the theme was. Ah, shit. Doesn't matter. But, uh... Pretty cool shirt. It's got all the parts of the Megazord and stuff. Oh, look at that, they put the pin right on top. Excellent. Oh, this is not the pin. This is actually, remember those keys that I got from like the first crate? And it was like the secret ordeal of the keys. And then you can go on to the website slash keys. And there's like challenges and stuff you can do. Well, this is the little secret thing. They added into the crate for answering all the questions. We got a little secret order of the keys pin. And it's called the founder's pin. Because it's the first thing that they've done for the little bonuses of the little thing. So that's kind of cool. I mean, it's not really... It's just a pin. I'm not too excited by it. I'm not indifferent, I would say. But a pretty decent. It's shiny. This is the actual pin for this month. Alright. We got two pins. I'm okay with that. Oh, this one's actually really good. This is a sweet pin. It's a happy face, but it's got claw marks. And it's got four claw marks. So that's from like Jurassic Park or World or something. That's a Jurassic, that's a dinosaur claw. Of some sort. Oh yeah, it's got like green claws on it. So that's a pretty cool pin. I like the smiley face. I like the claw marks. And it definitely fits the primal theme too. What else do we got in here? Ah, oh, nice. There is our predator item. And it is... A nice chunky bottle opener. I believe that is what it is, yes. Judging by that little hole there, that is a nice bottle opener. It's just nice chrome, like aluminum, whatever the fuck you want to call it. All one color though. Nice and shiny. Loot Crate exclusive. Nice and smooth. Another little bottle opener. So we got like a Claptrap bottle opener. In a predator bottle opener now. 
That's all right. I like to switch it up with the bottle openers. You can always have some extra bottle openers laying around. What do we got here? It is indeed the Logan Wolverine X-Men die-cast metal figurine. So we've gotten a bunch of these from the WWE Slam crates, and they're pretty fucking hefty figurines. They're made of die-cast metal, whatever the fuck, instead of like a normal vinyl figurine. So that's pretty cool. There's a whole bunch on the back that you can get to go with this. There's the actual Wolverine. There's like the orange Wolverine. It's a little bigger. There's Magneto. There's uh, Jubilee. There's Colossus. I don't know much about X-Men. But I do know all of those except for Jubilee. I don't know Jubilee. But she seems pretty cool. But let's check this fucking bad boy out. Oh yeah. Ta-da! So there he is. He actually does not come with a stand like the other die-cast guys. But I guess they're learning because it's a little too heavy for a stand and it just fucking topples over sometimes. So probably just made this a little sturdier. And this guy doesn't spin around in any way. The other ones had like a little bit of torso rotation. But this one is just normal. And hopefully he stands up real good. Yes, he does. He's a nice, sturdy figurine. But there we go. We got a nice Wolverine in his Logan form. Humanoid action. And now, the last item from Jurassic World, it seems. Warning, do not touch fence electrified throughout the park. And the dinosaur symbol. Ta-da! Nice little warning sign. A little bit of nostalgia from the movie. I definitely remember seeing these signs. And then on the back of this thing, it's also got some little extra tidbits. Please abide by all safety warnings and instructions on posted signs throughout the park. Proper attire, including shoes and shirts, must be worn at all times. We're eager to make your Isla Nubler experience as fully exciting and memorable as possible. If you have any other questions, concerns, please call talk to Whatever. There we go. Jurassic World. We got a little sign. And then, of course, we got the magazine. Let's see what we got in here. We got some primal artwork on the front, of course. Let's... Oh, what the fuck is this? There's our Order of the Keys thing. Did we get, like, a little poster or something? No. Follow your instincts. It's just, like, a little booklet of artwork. I don't really know what the fuck. What the hell is this? It can go over here, I guess. I don't fucking know. A weird little booklet. Okay. Let's see what the hell is actually in here. Little blurb, little bit of ads. There is our Jurassic sign from Jurassic World. I like it. A little bit of metal art. And I do believe it comes with like zip ties that you can uh, add on there too. I thought they were just holding the sign together, but they are indeed to actually attach the sign to something. There's our Overwatch shirt, Winston Primal Rage. Pretty cool. A little plain, but I like it. We got the Predator bottle cap, not bottle cap, bottle opener. All metal chrome kind of shit. We got the Logan Wolverine action with the claws out, die cast metal figurine. I like it. There's also different ones. You can get the old man Logan. And there's also the raw Admantium Logan. Adamantium. 
Not adamantium. We just got the normal ass Logan. Not the old man or the uh, adamantium one. But that's pretty cool. There's the other two in, the, in behind the normal one. Oh, the other one's just got gray hair and uh, I thought that was a mustache, but it's just his teeth. Unbox the beast! There's a little preview of the box, I guess. What else do we get? Oh, we got some comics to go with the pin, I guess. Free digital comics. Savage from Comixology and Amazon Company. This is from Valiant in HD. Some more Valiant comics. That's pretty cool. They like to give away a bunch of comic books. And there's a little bit of pictures from looters. And their loot. Never gonna be us. Also an ad for WonderCon. What do we get in the Mega Crate? Looks like a PS4 with Overwatch. Uh, some fucking X-Men. Blu-ray set. Jurassic World Lego set. A Predator board game, which is some sort of card game, I guess. And another Wolverine figure from Sideshow Collectibles. That's pretty cool. And then another ad for Lootware. Not a bad little magazine. Some nice little info. And we get some comics from the pin. And now there's only one more thing to do, and that's turn our box into a fucking dinosaur. So let's do that real quick. Wow. Well, that was a fucking... Ta-da! You get a dinosaur. Isn't that awesome? And you get a big fucking floppy... Uh, there's supposed to be a tail that goes in over here. But I ripped it in half because it was a piece of shit and the serrated edges weren't cut properly and all this shit. And the mouth looks like crap and you can see the loot crate symbol. This is the worst fucking... Like, I understand what they were going for, but they fucked it up. This would have been cool if you had a nice little dinosaur, but it's not going to fucking stand anywhere. It's just going to flop over because it's not level now. What the fuck, loot crate? You tried, but no. This sucked. Don't do this again. No more fucking serrated bullshit. You almost ruined the crate for me. Worst box. Definitely the worst box in the history of the fucking loot crate. That would have been cool if it actually worked, but the serrated edges were crap, and it was not designed easily to be made, and no. Try again, Loot Crate. But the items are cool. Really good figurine. Nice nostalgic sign. A nice little pin that fits the theme. And also a cool shirt. A little plain, but it definitely fits the theme of the Primal. And, and I got a nice Overwatch shirt now. Whatever. I don't have an Overwatch shirt. Now I do. And a cool little bottle opener. I like the bottle opener and the figurine the most. The sign is pretty cool. The shirt, once again, is not the most exciting, but still pretty cool. And then the fucking box sucked. That was the worst box ever. And we'll see if next month can fucking come through with a better box in the investigation or investigate crate. Because it's got some Batman stuff, Mr. Detective himself. Some X-Files, more detective-y kind of shit. Stranger Things. I show on Netflix that I have not seen. I don't even know if it's Netflix exclusive, but I know it's on Netflix. But Stranger Things, it's like some mystery kind of shit where a little boy goes missing or something, and then it goes into some Stranger Things. Ha ha ha! Haven't seen it, but I've heard it's really good, and it's in the crate. And then there's some Jessica Jones, who I had no idea who it was, but she is the girlfriend or wife or whatever the fuck of Luke Cage. She's a Marvel character, apparently. And she's got her own series, maybe? Or maybe she's just in the Luke Cage one? I'm not sure. 
But uh, she's going to be in the crate too. And we'll see. Hopefully. I think it should be. It's definitely going to be better than Marge's Primal. But we'll figure that out when we unbox it in April next time. <laughs>